An assistant Garda commissioner has said a review into the IRA killing of a Garda and a soldier during the rescue of the kidnapped businessman Don Tidy in 1983 will show that claims they were shot dead by Garda or army weapons are totally untrue. The head of the Garda's Drugs and Organised Crime Bureau also said the Bureau has for the first time handed over to the state more than €8 million Euro in cash it seized this year from criminals and organised crime groups. Well, this year has seen record drug seizures, including a €35 million Euro haul of cocaine hidden in coal. Gardaí say there has also been a significant reduction in gangland violence and murder. Over 50 Kinhen gang members have been convicted. 77 gangsters are serving sentences of over five years for organised crime offences. The Gardaí say in addition to the Criminal Assets Bureau seizures, another €8 million in criminal cash was handed over to the state this year. Two million is a significant amount of cash to remove uh, from circulation uh, among criminal organisations, uh, and that uh, certainly uh, damages their their um, capacity uh, to operate into the future. Assistant Commissioner John O'Driscoll is also in charge of the Serious Crime Review Team, the Cold Case Unit, which is finalising a review of the investigation into the kidnapping of the businessman Don Tidy in 1983. Garda Gary Sheehan and Private Patrick Kelly were killed by the IRA gang during the rescue. The assistant doing? commissioner says the review will rule out once and for all the ongoing false suggestions that the men were shot dead by so-called friendly fire. The fact that uh, there have been uh, suggestions uh, that, uh, that the Garda recruit Garda Sheehan and Private uh, Patrick Kelly died at the hands of uh, firearms held by the Garda or the army is totally untrue uh, and we are, are going to uh, uh, gather the necessary evidence that will uh, prove that to be the case beyond any doubt. The assistant